Well, we all know that the human population is increasing and here in the UK, for example, it's heading towards 80 million people by the middle of this century. And yet, despite that, the number of people living in rural communities in the UK is going to reduce over that period. So smart cities are about the way we cope with all of those people moving together, clustering in cities and giving them a quality of life that means that they're happy to stay there. A smart city, if it's working well, is an intelligent city. It gives you what you need, when you need it. So it gives you intelligent transport that turns up when you need that. It empties your bins when your bins are full. It monitors whether you're well and whether you need somebody to come and see you. So it's an environment that people want to live in and it's one that's very efficient in the way that it uses energy and other resources because it's got people close together. The key issue with electricity supply in connected cities is that they are dependent on electricity and their use of electricity is going up all the time. So when you have intelligent systems that require power themselves or the internet that requires power, clearly you're putting more people into that. The demand for electricity in those cities is going to go up and up year on year. The implications of electrical failure are that when all of your systems, your intelligent transport, your intelligent waste removal, your intelligent health monitoring, all depend on electricity, clearly if there is no electricity, your smartness disappears, your smart city suddenly becomes dumb. The key role for government is to build in resilience. We know the dependence on electricity and internet, and so government needs to be the risk manager to ensure that when those go off, which they occasionally will do, there are systems which will continue to operate to ensure that chaos doesn't break out. Government, I think, also must realise that the cities are part of the countries that they're responsible for, and so they've got to link them with other activities. They mustn't be standalone communities. And finally, I think governments need to look at the skills of the people who are living in those new smart cities. Are they appropriate for the way and the life that they're going to lead?